In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I love that statement. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can interpret that. The way I'm going to interpret that and use that today is that you don't have to be perfect in order to make progress or win. You simply have to be able to do what is effective in order to make progress or win. And what I want to tie that to is your currently existing capacity and capability for self-coaching. You actually can self-coach yourself right now better than you can imagine. And here's how I'm going to just summarize it for you, put a pretty bow on it, and send you along your way. Every result that we want in life is a second, third, or fourth order consequence. Most people don't get that, which is why they're always stuck not having the consequence, the result that they want. <clears throat> Let's say it like this. Let's say you imagine you're playing a game of basketball. The score on the scoreboard is a second, third, fourth order consequence of playing basketball, moving the ball around the court. Let's say it's a team, team situation, not one-on-one. -on -one. Well, whichever way, it doesn't matter. You have to follow the rules of basketball. You have to play the game of basketball, right? And you have to get the ball through the net. If you do that enough times consistently while not letting the other team or opponents do it more times than you, the score on the scoreboard is going to be what you want it to be, a.k.a. you having bigger points, more points, a higher number than the opposing team. You with me? But if you sit there and just focus on the score on the scoreboard, shit ain't going to happen. You're going to lose. Same thing with money. Money is just a way of keeping score of how you play the game of money. Money, the, number, the amount of money in your bank account is a scoreboard. If you don't have the money that you want or if you don't have any money at all, it means you suck at the game of money. That's good news because that means you can fix. There's something to work on. See, if it's just this, concept, this, just this vague concept of <clears throat> just worry about the scoreboard, but we don't know how to move these points on the scoreboard, you're screwed. But it's good news if money like a score on the scoreboard of a game of basketball is a second, third, or fourth order consequence because that means there's something you can work on to improve in order to make the score what you want it to be. So if you want your bank account to look like a telephone number, listen closely. Every result that you want is a second, third, fourth order consequence. And earlier I said that in the, la in the land of the blind... In the land of the blind, the one in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. <clears throat> so you only have to make some effective improvement in order to get progress. And the easiest way for most guys to do this is to look at a result that you want that you don't have. Let's say it's a certain amount of money, and then literally sit down and map out on a piece of paper exactly what your daily structure habits, your daily structure habits and system or approach is how you manage your time pretty much most of us do the same morning same noon same evening all the time right so look at your daily structure look at your work habits look at where you're putting in your time literally just map it out on a piece of paper this is what i typically do this is where i put blah 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 now look at what has been most consistent in your habits for the last 90 days the most consistent elements of what you are doing and what you are not doing is what is causing the score to be what it is in your bank account and on the metaphorical scoreboard. All you have to do is be one-eyed in the land of the blind. All you have to do is look at what you are doing and not doing and literally stop doing some of the things that you are doing that you know are probably not serving you and then add some things that you know you should be doing that you could imagine you would be doing were you the person that already had the money that you want and then just start doing those. Just make those changes. Do those things long enough and by default, there will be some kind of change in consequence, in second, third, or second, third, fourth order consequence. That is universal law. It is inescapable. You cannot make changes in your struct daily structure, your habits, and where you put your time 
and your energy and not have a different output. That's fucking impossible because the, ener the universe is made up of magnetism and electricity, an offer wave and then, and then uh, a frequency wave that comes back. So change what you're doing based upon self-analysis and ask yourself, does the person who has, let's say you want a million dollars in your bank account, does the person who has, the version of me who has a million dollars in the bank account, does he do these things? Do I think he does these things? Probably not. And again, you don't have to be perfect in that self-analysis. The one-eyed man is king in the land of the blind. You only have to be, you only have to be good enough to make a few small effective changes to get results, to start getting different results. And you, my friend, here's how the universe works. If you have a desire for the outcome within you, that, therefore that means by default within you are the seeds and the blueprint for getting that outcome. So you're perfectly capable of self-coaching. Now, the hard part is going to be the emotional resistance that you're gonna face to making those changes that you analyze, that, through, that you identify through your self-analysis. That's up to you whether you're gonna, how bad do you want the outcome and if you're ready for it. If you're not, you're gonna keep the same bullshit patterns going and you're gonna be stuck in your psycho-cybernetic loop. However, with that said, I just want you to understand, creating different results in your life and creating new outcomes in your life is as simple as being a one-eyed man in the land of the blind. Just some effective changes by law, by universal law will create a different output. You don't, so you are perfectly capable of self-coaching. Proceed accordingly.